decided we wanted to tell this story, we turned to the most credible account we could find, and in fact the only account that offers an extensive history of Israel's covert response to Munich. Golda Meir was the first prime minister who dared to come up with a new innovative way to avenge the Munich massacre in such a way that it will send a message to terrorists, you do what you do and we will find you individually. We're not going to bomb countries, we're not going to bomb cities, we're going to look for you individually for the rest of your life and we will bring you to justice. The constant risk of terrorism on American soil. Jabal Aviv joins us tonight. He is a terrorism expert. He is a former Israeli counterintelligence officer who since 1979 has had his own international security and investigative firm called Interfor. And he's also a special consultant to Congress. He was a lead investigator for the Pan Am investigating the Lockerbie bombing. You have just done so many security things, yes. almost too many to list. Because the government is still fighting the war of yesterday, which the terrorists are not doing. We service three areas only, white collar crime fraud investigation, primarily we're the investigators on Enron, WorldCom, Tyco, Consico, Pamela, all those big scandals. Let me teach you how to do the fraud, how to do a good fraud and not get caught. Uh, the second area is due diligence, financial due diligence worldwide. And the third is asset search and recovery. We go after large debt of banks, financial institutions, um, uh, insurance companies, and we find the money that is, was stolen and hidden somewhere offshore. Who is really our immediate enemy? Who is a long-term enemy? And what is this big chess game that is being played? Many years ago, when I started uh, as an agent for Mossad, my father told me, you have to remember one thing. If you can't stay the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> 